Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I came on time today. <laughs> I am working today in the in the platform. I uh -huh. trying to uh, uh, complete it as, as the um lesson five. Lesson five. Oh, you finished lesson lesson five. That's great. Oh, 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 no, complete. Uh, Completamente, pero ahí vamos. Not completely, you say. Yeah, sorry, not completely. Not completely, but not completely. in progress. Yeah, I am progress. In progress, you say. In progress. Okay, that's very good. I am very happy that you are advancing on the platform. That's really nice. And for sure, it is really necessary that you do it, right? Because it is important that you advance as much as you can. Because, I mean, the sooner you finish, the better, right? Just uh, if you have any issue with any exercise, just let us know. And for sure, we're going to be helping you. Uh, I know Anita already finished everything on the platform. Yeah. But she's like the, the, the symbol of the group. Right. No, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, Anita. We were missing you yesterday. Yes, teacher, because I have a lot of problems with my eating. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the light when, when out in, with, uh, with, oh, uh -huh. in the morning. So when it come. When it came back? It, when it came back, uh, like uh, one thirty. The eating died. <laughs> oh my god so it was like difficult <clears throat> right difficult because i mean when that happens i know mm -hmm. it's, you can do anything you cannot do anything but mm -hmm. uh, but in the end i mean yes when you start calling them and calling them and to see like hey, hey i need help with this and that and that and that they don't do anything yeah so it's like we, we cannot do much no. Teacher, yes, I'm incapacitated now in the morning. Oh, really? I'm getting my voice. Oh, my Turn god, out. <laughs> I woke up with a fever, so trust, nor I'm sweet in fever. Oh, my god, I've been asleep. Oh, my goodness, isn't it our <laughs> friend COVID? No, oh, no, <laughs> process, process gripal. Okay, it's like uh the flu. It's the flu. Flu. When you say it's it, 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 okay, that will be good. Okay, I'm going to take care yes. of not. Yeah, I won't make you speak that much because Thanks. it's like <laughs> yeah. <it's>... La chlorfenidamina. <laughs> me duerme. Y ya me uh, la yeah. Yeah. So no don't. But si no try. No, try to stay. Try to stay awake. It happens, right? I am going to tell you a funny story, not about ghosts, because yesterday we had issues because of that. <laughs> but one day, my mother told me, right? Yeah, take this syrup, or syrup is jarabe, right? Take this syrup, because I was very sick. And I said, syrup, yeah, I am going to take a little bit. It was supposed to be with a spoon, right? Te suponía que lo tenía que tomar con una cuchara. But I said, eh. I just drop it <laughs> over. <laughs> and then I said, like, ah, nothing happened. I said, hmm. and then I said, like, well, a little bit more. I said, and then I just drank almost half of the bottle. Same. And then I was working, right? Because I used to work at night. But the thing is that I was working on the laptop and all of a sudden I fell asleep over the computer. <laughs> And, and I got mm. 71 pages of letter R. Mm. Tenía 71 páginas de la letra R. <laughs> because it was like... <laughs> but my mother was like... Ati, ati. And I was just like, but completely knocked out. I owned the laptop. Yes. <laughs> and my mother was like, she's dead. She's dead. Sí, and, I, and I was I was it's dangerous intoxicated <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was poisoned <laughs> and my mother was like Se murió. and I was like I was just like 
I was just just I was just sleeping, but yeah. please follow the indications of the medicine. <laughs> it's dangerous. Yeah, and my mother is a nurse. That's the worst part. And she was like, Bonesia, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. And I was like, I was totally asleep. <laughs> well, but so I understand the process of chlorpheniramina. Well, my Thanks. dear class, let's start this day with a little bit of practice. I am going to show you different words and you are going to create sentences with it. The first sentence that comes to your mind, okay? La primera oración que se le venga a la cabeza with the word that I am going to show. The first one says, eat Mexican food. I like tacos. Food. I like tacos. No, no, no. The word is eat Mexican food. You can I use like it eat past, present, or future. Food. I like eat. Mm -mm. I like eat. Mm -mm -mm. You say I like eat Mexican food. Is it correct? <laughs> I, like I like to eat. Ah, to eat. Okay. I like <laughs> to. to eat, I to want eat. to. I love. Too. Okay. Important. I like to eat Mexican food. Okay, in past. I like it. No. In past. How do you ah, say? In past. I ate. 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 I I will Mexican eat Mexican food. food. What about the next one? Go swimming. Okay. Go swimming. This weekend I go swimming. This yeah. weekend? I go swimming to uh, Sun Sao Beach. Okay. I will, <laughs> I will, I will swimming. In Sunsal Beach. Aha. Uh -huh. Fix the sentence. I will go. I will go swimming, I, right? I will go swimming I will to, go swim to Sunsal Beach. Beach. In past. I went swim swimming. I went swimming. I went, I went swimming and to, to Sunsal. To Sunsal Beach. Beach. Very good. What about the next one? Cook dinner. I cooked the dinner. I cooked today. the din I cooked dinner today. Uh -huh. I cooked dinner, dinner today. today. In the future. I will cook. I will cook dinner. Cook tomorrow. I will tomorrow. cook dinner tomorrow. tomorrow, right? I will cook dinner tomorrow. Good, very good. The next one. Buy tortillas. My mother to buy tortillas. My mother will buy tortillas. <laughs> the I, pasta? I always buy tortillas uh -huh. before lunch. I always buy tortillas before lunch. Very good. Very good. Adverse of frequency. Excellent. Past. In past. How do you say this one? In past. But. I bought, I bought tortillas, tortillas yesterday. yesterday. I bought tortillas yesterday. Very good job. Okay, I bought tortillas yesterday. The next one. Chan, chan, chan. Shower the dog. Shower the dog. I never I don't have like to shower, the, I dog shower the dog. Okay, I, ne I never have to shower. I don't like I to shower. Uh, I, shower the dog I shower the dog once in a while. I shower the dog once in a while. The poor dog. <laughs> Bañame, por favor. <laughs> the poor dog there. I shower the dog once in a while. In the future. I will, I will shower. shower. I will shower tomorrow. Dog. I will shower the dog tomorrow, tomorrow. right? And for guys, body guys. last year. <laughs> the next year for the body. <laughs> <laughs> and Kaiser. And Kaiser, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Okay, the next one. Play. Here is free or free free life. <laughs> free <laughs> life, okay? Play baseball. I play baseball every day. Play I play baseball every day, right? I play baseball every day. In past. 
She played baseball. I played baseball yesterday. I played baseball yesterday. Okay. Press uh, past continuous and simple past. Past continuous and simple past, or uh, yeah, the ones that we were practicing yesterday. Past continuous by onions and simple past. Call my friends. You have to make one with the two. Buy onions and pass and in simple past, call my friends. Yesterday, remember, I was when we did it yesterday. <laughs> you remember the door? We didn't say you teacher. Yeah, and that's the secret of having yeah, good free internet. time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to my internet provider for this beautiful interruption. Internet. <laughs> yes. Hi, my friends from Tiu. I love them. Yeah. Past continues, simple past. I was calling to my friends. No, oh. I was. I was, I was buying. I was, I was buying, buying onions when onions buying when when call me call when my friends call, call when my friend call me. Very good job. I was buying onions when my friends called me. Right. Call Very me. good in the market. Right. I was in the market. The next one. Uh huh. Let me see. Let's see, I am going to use this one. <laughs> Shower the cat. Okay. Past tense. Shower the cat, past tense. I... In past. I shower, I shower the cat. Uh, last week I showered the cat last week right I better the cat not the dog right I showered the cat last week sorry I dropped one let me just get it and the next one future play soccer I will play soccer I will play soccer when tomorrow, tomorrow? with whom tomorrow. with whom with my, my boyfriend. <laughs> With my boyfriend. Where? Uh, in the in the, the stadium. In the, <laughs> in the stadium. In the at stadium. The stadium. Okay. In the beach. Okay. At the stadium. At the beach. Ah. Aha. Aha. Yeah. 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 Aha. Come on. They are going to play soccer at the beach. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> With the boyfriend. Ay, ay, ay. Si mama, a usted que no me cae. <laughs> the next one. Take selfies. Take selfies. Future. I will take, I will take selfies. I will take selfies. I, I will take selfies. 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 selfies tomorrow, tomorrow with Picchu. my friends. <laughs> in Machu Picchu. I will take selfies tomorrow in Machu Picchu. Okay. Another level. Another level. Be careful because. In the Tazuman. In el Tazuman. <laughs> <laughs> the, next, the next one. Remember, selfish is egoísta. You yeah. cannot take selfish. <laughs> Okay, selfie <laughs> is uh, the picture that you take to yourself, right? But uh, you cannot say selfish. Okay, tomame una selfish. No. Okay, <laughs> it happens, right? It happens. And don't make fun. Don't make fun of your parents when they cannot say Netflix or selfie, right? Don't make fun of them. Porque ya estamos en el banco. No sabemos ni hacer los trámites. <laughs> Mamá. What can I do here? So, selfish, it's egoista. Selfie is the picture that you take to yourself. Good, very good. You see, let's do the last exercise. Wash my car. Give me the sentence in present. I wash, wash my car. I wash, I wash my car. car. I wash my car. 
And if I say <laughs> when? Cuando? Today in the morning. I wash my car today in the, today in the morning. Now, in that case, you no, have to make the sentence. It's, it's in the past. Yes. Uh -huh. The normal so, sentence. If you say today in the morning, la transformamos a un pasado. Yes. I wash my car today in the morning. With whom? By the frequency of verbs. Con quien? With whom? With my dog. With, <laughs> With my... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and Kaiser, oh, lo que hace uno por la bronqueta. <laughs> with, with, with the toe. With the toe. <laughs> with the what? With the toe. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I watched it. No. I watched it. No. Let's see. I, let, let me share the screen. Let me share the screen so we can write it. We can write the sentence, okay? We say like, I, uh, okay, I'm going to write here. I washed my car today in the morning. Mm. Who helped you to do it? ¿Quién le ayudó? My, 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 my mom. Daughter. Okay, mm. my mother helped me. Later, ¿qué pasó después? Later, uh -huh. let's invent the story. Later, she fell bad. We, we she, cooked the lunch. She fell bad. Yeah. Later, uh -huh. but to cook lunch. Later, we cook the lunch. The beginning, right? <laughs> we drink a <laughs> lemonade. I am going okay. with my mother to the party. Okay, okay, listen, listen. It says like, okay. Uh, I wash my car today in the morning. My mother helped me. Later, we cook lunch. Uh -huh. Later, we cook lunch. And, and drink le lemonade. And we, what is the past tense? Drunk. 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 We drank Drunk. lemonade. In the afternoon. Okay, in the afternoon. We watch a movie. We watch a movie. Very good. We watch a movie. We watch a movie. And, and then I, eat eating pupusas. And then we ate pupusas. Ate pupusas. Okay. All this paragraph, this little paragraph, came from one word. Okay. If you tell me, teacher, yo no puedo practicar inglés, no sé cómo. Get one word, create paragraphs, create stories, create listenings. It's, it's as simple as that. The idea is that you have to be creative. You have to invent, right? You have to find ways to do it. Si me dice, ay, teacher, no sé cómo practicar inglés. No se me, no me ocurre nada. Agarren una palabra. And then invent a little story from that, okay? Create sentences in past, in present, in future, right? Use different subjects. My mother, my sister, my brother, my father, right? And then you create sentences. But the idea is that you start inventing, that you start creating for yeah. you to develop your skills. You see? I give you tips for you to practice your English. You cannot tell me, no, teacher, no puedo practicar yo, no sé. I don't know how. It's easy. Just get one word. Imagine I gave you 10 different words today and you were able to create your sentence. So that was the tip of the night, how to practice your English with simple things that you have at hand, okay? Yesterday, I asked you to work on a little homework, right? I asked you to work on the sentences. Did you finish them? No me acordé, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. <laughs> right now. Just work in the platform. <laughs> I, uh, okay, but you work in the platform. Okay, if you didn't do it, we're going to do it right now. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to work together. No worries about this. In this case, we have a the practice of simple past and past continuous that we started yesterday, right? 
And I told you that uh, if you were able to do it, I was going to appreciate you working on the platform. But if you didn't, we're going to do it right now. If you can do this in your notebook, that would be perfect. Write in your notebook from one to eight, okay? Del uno al ocho, escriban una listita ahí en su cuaderno, from one to eight, and we are going to work on, uh, on uh, this exercise, okay? We are going to work on this exercise and in here. So you say, I was driving, I was driving in England when suddenly I realized, right? I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. We did this one yesterday, right? What about the next one? Live with my grandparents when I high school. What is the answer for this one? I was living. I was, I was living. Living. I was living with my grandparents with my when I entered. 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 High school. school. Enter two. Sorry. When I enter entered, two. when I entered to high school. Okay. The next one. I dinner last night when the phone. I made. I was making dinner. I was making. I was making dinner last night when the phone. When the phone. Ring. 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 Right. The Ring. past tense of ring. 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 When the phone rang. Tracy and Eric in a restaurant in Vancouver when they were working. We're working. We're working because this is two people, right? We're working in a restaurant in Vancouver when they met. 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 When they met. met. Several years ago, I was having, 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 problems with math, so, so I, I had, had, had to find a tutor, I had to find a tutor, to find a tutor, what is a tutor? Tutor. A, tutor. a tutor, tutor is a private a teacher that helps you with a specific topics or a specific subjects. That is a tutor. Okay, the next one. We we were, right? You cannot we say were, we, we, were, we, were, we were. We were living. We were living. We were living. Okay. We were living at in a, in a tiny farming and okay we were we were living, living, living in, a in a tiny apartment, apartment when our first child, our first child was, was born was born was born, was born, right? born. Was born. in that born. case the the uh, past tense here of of b is was right mm -hmm. my brother was my brother was ice skating when he broke his arm okay my brother was ice skating was ice skating when he broke his arm when he broke his arm. Have you ever broken a bone, people? No. 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 You, are, you are a legend still. <laughs> yeah. yes. Only my nose. Only your nose. But that's a bone, right? Only your nose, right? Have you ever twisted a part of your body? Twisted is like doblar or torcerse. No, no teaching. The most common is the knee or the ankle, right? Just the rodilla or the tobillo. That goes like ankle. Ah, the ankle. Yeah. It's not uncle, okay? Uncle is su tío. 
no se pueden doblar. Yes. <risa> Enco es <is> el tobillo. Enco. Enco. Cuando se cae su tío. Oh, I twisted my ankle. No. Okay, that's important, right? Things that I learned with teacher Nati. You cannot fold your uncle. The next one. I. I was watching TV when the power went out. Oh, when the power went out. Went out. Went out. Right? Let's see. Uh, Anna, can you help me with sentence number one? Read it. Yes. I was driving in England when I when I suddenly realized I was on the wrong side of the road. Very good job. Elba Carolina, number two. I was I was living with my grandparents when I entered to high school. Very good job. Sara, go ahead, number three. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I, Wait, I, I was go. I was making dinner last night when the phone uh, rang. 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 Very good. Erika, number four. Lacey and Eric were working in a restaurant in Vancouver when they met. When they met. 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 When they met. Very good. Noemi. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Noemi is sick, but it's good. Podemos, yes, teacher. ¿sí? Number five. Yes. yes. Several years ago, was having problems with math, so I had to find a tutor. Very good. I was having and tutor. Having. Okay, having. and tutor. Thanks. Very good job. Number six, Jenny. In a tiny apartment. Tiny, tiny. Tiny apartment when our first child was born. Very good job. Eh, Ricardo de Jesus, number seven. Uh, my brother was ice skating when he broke his arm. Very good job. And the last one, Dennis, number eight. I was watching TV when the power went out. Very good job, right? I was watching TV when the power went out. Thank you very much to all my volunteers. Dedocratic, but volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So in this case, uh, we have a couple of questions, right? We have a couple of questions and we're going to practice a little bit of stress. And it says, has your brother been studying journalism? No, I have been studying journalism, right? Has your brother been studying journalism? No, I've been studying journalism. It is like to focus that you are wrong, but I am correcting you, right? Has your brother been studying journalism? No, I have been studying journalism, right? It is in this case, you use this type of sentences for you to clarify and for you to say, mm, no, no, no. It's like, eh, you are wrong, but I am clarifying your answer. It's just like, was teacher Nati your teacher last module? So like, no, teacher Nati is my teacher this module, okay? And you clarify. So this is the way we do it. What about the second one? It says, are you going to study journalism? No, I have been studying journalism. It is not that I will do it. I am doing it now. So I will ask you a question and you give me the proper intonation for me to know that I am incorrect. Has your brother been studying journalism, people? No, I've been studying studying journalism. Okay, no, I've been studying journalism. Okay, pronunciation matters. What about the second one? And I need everybody to participate. Are you going to study journalism? No, no, I've been studying journalism. Okay, I have been studying journalism. It's not that I will do it later. I am doing it right now. Let's see. Have you been teaching journalism? No, no I've been studying, been studying no. journalism. Been studying okay, journalism. to make it clear, you say, no, I have been studying journalism. For you to be clear. 
The next months. one. Have you been studying literature? No. Uh, I, I have been, been studying journalism. Journalism, right? In, in Spanish, it's very, it's very like normal for us to say like nombre. It's not like that, you see? And then you know that the person is wrong, right? And you say like, nombre vos, I know. And then you make the other person feel bad. And in this case, we just give back the, the answer with the correct form. Okay, so this is a good way to do it. Let's see. Uh, students, have you been studying French? No, I've no, been studying English. Okay, students, have you been studying in Guatemala? No, I have been studying in Guatepeque. In Guatepeque, right? <laughs> Let's see. Is your class in the morning? No, no my class is in the at night. <laughs> in, at night. At night, right? At, at night. night, right? At night. That is good. So that is the idea, right? This In this pronunciation stuff that uh, uh, we have here. Now, I have these questions for discussion for you, okay? The first question says, and this is for everybody, have you been doing anything exciting recently? Yes, no, and if it's yes, what? Have you been doing anything exciting recently? No, nobody? Yes. No, no. no. I have been I studying English. English. I, think I, I have been oh. studying English. Good, very good. Daisy. Yes, I'm so excited. Today pass my exam, my driver, a board, board exam. Okay, your your uh, driving test. Yes. Ah, the congratulations! Yes. yes, congratulations. Sorry, Enrique, my draw is hard. <laughs> okay, but it's okay. So you pass your driving test. Ya pasaste tu examen de manejo. Yes. Yes. Good. Very good. Exact. Exacto. Cuando salen las nuevas multas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the new fine. Be careful. Be careful with the fines. Okay. Be careful. No, but she's a new a new driver. She will be very good. Are you studying anything right now? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes teacher. We are <laughs> studying. I am studying English. Okay, I am studying English. How long have you been studying? I, I have been, been studying, studying this for six months. Approximately one year. One year, six months. Right, good, good. It's have you moment. met have you met anyone interesting these days? No. Have you met anyone interesting these days? Han conocido alguien interesante en estos días? I have met 28 interesting people these days. <laughs> you? <laughs> All of you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have met you. Well, I met I met some of you before, right? When you were just beginners. Cuando iban empezando, ya los conocí algunos. And now you see all adults and grown up. Let's see. Where were you living 10 years ago? Where were you living 10 years ago? In the same place? In a different city? Donde vivían hace 10 años? Uh -huh. My internet again. Hello, hello. Okay. I got I mean, issues again. I am back. <laughs> I am back. Oh, ya regreso. Yeah. Ya regreso. Something is wrong with the internet. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 someone is going to listen to me tonight. <laughs> Tigo. Hello. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We are back. Sí. Es que fui a corroborar que estuviera bien el cable. <laughs> 
tell me where were you living 10 years ago, people? I was living in Chalchuapa 10 years ago. 10 years ago, you were living in Chalchuapa, really? Yes. Where? I live in, uh, near to Maria Auxiliadora. Oh, yeah, on the west part of Chalchuapa. I, well, my, my mother's house is in the center of the city. Oh, right? yeah. We live near the market. It's pretty nice. So, but I was living, no, I was living here in San Salvador 10 years ago. Let's see. Have you been saving up to buy anything special? ¿Han estado ahorrando para comprarse algo especial? Yes, no. En what? Yes. What? Yeah. What do you want to buy? A car. A car. <laughs> nice. yes. My house. Your house. Wow, fantastic. You need a lot of savings for that. Every single dollar counts, right? Cada dollar que guarden cuenta. Important, when you have this kind of questions, because you are going to be interacting with people, you can say, really? I didn't know. So you can follow up with the questions. Oh, I see. Jesus, I had no idea, right? Oh, wow, tell me more, right? Mm -hmm. And you can get these follow-up sentences for this. Imagine that I say, for example, eh, did you do anything exciting this morning? Hicieron algo chévere este día en la mañana? I wake up. I woke up. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> wow, tell me more. Eat chori. <laughs> right? I ate chori. Hey, me too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> me too. <laughs> that was my lunch. I was like, really? Me too. You see, useful expressions when we have this type of, of things. Okay. okay, so the reading that we have here, the one that I asked you to read a little bit uh, also, right? Let dije que la leyéramos si tenían chance. We have about the prodigies. What is a prodigy? What is a prodigy? It's someone. Aha, uh -huh. but what is, what is that? He has a bit of it's okay. someone that do things that we can do. <laughs> it's someone who does things that we cannot do. Someone who has different abilities than normal people, right? Those are the prejudices. So in this case, or in some cases, there are students who are a little bit more intelligent than the average kids, right? Those are prodigies. And they have a specific skills. For example, a... There are many people who learn to read at a very young age. Did you learn to read before five? Who, who learned to read before five? Antes de los cinco años, ¿quién ya leía aquí? Me. Okay, Dennis. Me. Okay, very good. Only Dennis. Nadia. Uh -huh. when, when, I had, when I had four when, years, I think. When I was? Me exactly at five. At five, okay. Recordemos que con las edades decimos was, when I was. Daisy, how old, are you, how old were you when you learned to read? Four. Four. Okay, you were four years old. That's so fantastic. Yes, and, and, and write. And... Oh, read and write. Yeah, right. I appreciate yes. that. Okay, very good. Tell me, who learned to walk before one? ¿Quién ya caminaba antes del año? I don't remember. <laughs> As your parents, people. That's, that's your homework. That's your homework. Le puedes dar la tarea que le pregunten a sus hermanos mayores o a sus papás o a quien se encargaba de ustedes. How old were you when you learned to walk? Let's see. Did you learn English at an early age? ¿Quién aprendió inglés, jovencito? Here. <laughs> No. Only me. No. <laughs> yeah, I was nine. In process, teacher. In process. Good. English expert in process. I was nine years old when I started learning. So, really? Yes. I was nine years old. I was very curious. That's, nice. That's why. I was very curious. My mother used to say that I was very meke. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, I was. Indeed. So uh, in some cases, we say that we are different than the rest. So 
In the first paragraph, Sarah Shen was good because she was a perfect violinist. What about Michael Kearney? Did you read it? Do you remember something about him? Uh huh. No, I didn't see him. So you didn't read it? Okay, but we're going to read it right now. Don't worry. It says. Before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He has been proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say full sentences like, what's for dinner, mom? By 10 months, he could read words. Starting at home with his parents, Michael completed fourth grade levels each year. At five, he entered to high school and finished in one year. By 10, he graduated from college with honors, and at 11, he went to graduate school. So, when did he learn to speak? Cuando aprendió a hablar? When he was? He was four months. When he was four, four months old, four. right? When he was four months old. And, uh, when did he finish high school? Mm, when, when he, uh, he graduated. When was ten years? When, when he was when ten. Was when, he when he was ten. <laughs> when he was ten years old. When he from was college. ten years old from college, right? And he graduated school at eleven. Imagine, <laughs> and I finished the university when I was twenty. I don't remember, like 25 or 26. Mm -hmm. Ay, so sad. So he was only 10 years old. And Alexandra Nechita was two. When she was two, her parents gave her some crayons and coloring in a coloring book. Alexandra was soon working in inks, watercolors, and by the time she was seven, all oil paints. At eight, Alexandra had her first art exhibition. Her paintings are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. They have sold for as much as 80,000. She has been on TV and a book of her paintings was published. So, and okay. I cannot color without going out of the picture, right? Yo siempre me salgo del muñeco. And Alexandra, she was two. When she was two, she started painting. Do you have something special that you learned to do in your life at an early age? Think about it. Okay, um, Think about that. Uh -huh. Boris, do you have something special? Um, yeah, I, I learned it, uh, to play chess uh, at at five years old. When you were five years old. Wow. Yeah. So you learned to play chess at the age of five. Okay. So any other one who has something or a special talent that you learned when you were young? Uh -huh. Tell me. I told you, for example, that I learned to speak English when I was nine years old. Daisy? I'm learning to sweep. You learn to? Uh, to sweep, yeah, to sweep. Uh, when I was uh, five years old. Really? When you were five uh, years yes. old? You were helping with the chores at home. That's so nice. Hacía la limpieza en toda la casa. I I used to do the cleaning. I used to do the cleaning in the in my in in all in the my, house. In all the house. In all yes. the house. Wow, nice, Daisy. Yes. Very nice. Any other example? Uh, teacher. Yep. In my case, I. I started studying at the university at the age of six, 16. 
16. Wow, you were very young. Yes, yes. So, you see, Nadia went to university at the age of 16. Any other example? Any other example that you consider that you are different from the rest because you did something different than the normal average people? Who learned to cook at a young age? ¿Quién aprendió a cocinar, jovencito o jovencita? Alejandro, how old were you? Oh, I cannot listen eight. to you. Ah, eight. You were eight years old. Eight years old. What about you, Vidal? How old were you when you learned to cook? Uh huh. Mr. No, Francis. Uh huh. You, no, <laughs> okay, you were not good at cooking. Okay. Francisco, were you good at cooking when you were young? Uh, yeah. Uh, I learned to cook at Niger. Oh, Niger. Uh, oh, go. Ah, sorry, sorry, Mr. Trans. I learned at I learned at to Niger cook. Old. Uh, yeah, for, uh, for uh, working in my time. Um, I learned like that. So you say, yeah, I yeah, learned my, my work. I learned to cook when I, I was I was nine years old. Nine years old for my for my working. Okay. Were you working when you were nine? Yeah, yeah. Really? What were you doing? Yeah. Um uh, okay. uh, Ah, so you were you were the chef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Ese a era los... mi trabajo de la noche cocinar y en la, y la mañana trabajar vendiendo discos a los nueve años. Oh Ese my god, vida. that's all... yeah. well, but that's nice because you learn to do the things by yourself at a yeah. very young age. Well, uh, I have one hour for a sleeping. In... Oh my day. god, yeah. my goodness. So you need to appreciate every effort. Yeah. Cada esfuerzo que haga y cada logro, appreciate that. That's very nice, very admirable, Francisco. Thank you for Thank sharing. You, nice job. Okay, so we see we had a chef here. Okay, cuando tengan evento, cualquier cosa, we have the chef right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Sara, what was her accomplishment? What was the accomplishment of Sara? She is perfect violinist. Okay, she's a perfect violinist. How old was she? Oh, I mean, how old was Sara when she learned to play the violin? Julia was five years. Five years, five years five right? She was five, five years. years. Oh. She was five years old. What was Michael's accomplishment? When Michael's accomplishment. What was it? He was very intelligent. He was very intelligent. Starting at the age of ten years, he was four months old. Four months old. He was right? four months old. Four months old. Yeah. And what about Alexandra? What was her accomplishment? Painting. Painting, Painting right? Painting. Painting. And when did she start? When she was seven. Was when she was? Two years. Two years. When she was yeah. two yes. years old. Very good. When she was two years old. That's when she started. Okay. Before I go on the next exercise, I am going to call the attendance and then we will move on to the next part of the exercise. Okay. Let me just uh, organize my screens here and we are going to call the attendance. Okay. So we can do the next exercise. You see, if you start thinking about the important things that you have done, you will discover many, right? Si se ponen a pensar acerca de los logros que han tenido hasta el momento y dicen, hey, yo aprendí eso bien joven. You will see that you will find many, many, many more. Let's see. I have here Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandrita. Angélica. Wait, 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 wait. No, sorry. I am in the incorrect list. <clears throat> no, here I am. <laughs> sorry. Ya ven, por eso no me enamoro yo. Porque uno se confunde del listado. <laughs> okay, now, Alba Colombina. 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 Alba
There you go. It's probably the, the internet teacher. The internet. <laughs> Thank you. Alejandro Jose. Present teacher. Alicia Guadalupe. Alicia Guadalupe. Uh, Anita. Present teacher. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present teacher. Blanca Marisol. Present teacher. Boris Martin. Here, teacher. Brian Isaac. Denis Isaías. Present. Daisy Carolina. Present, teacher. I'm oh, sorry, Daisy. Oh my God, poor Daisy. Dina Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Elba Carolina. Present, teacher. Eric Ernesto. Erika Maidel. Thank you. Francisco Antonio. Francisco Alberto. Ahora soy Antonio. <laughs> I am present teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Para My ver si está poniendo atención. Para ver si está poniendo atención. Para ver si está poniendo atención. Vamos a ver. Iri, estoy poniendo atención. Iri Regina. Here, teacher. Daisy, tell me. The teacher is falling in love. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> Ya ven, no. Está eso enamorado no. de algún Antonio, por eso. <risa> And I don't know anybody with es that broma, name. Teacher, es broma. El soñito. Niño. <risa> no, aquí mi esposo no ha oído nada. <risa> Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica Janet. Present teacher. José Edwin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Present teacher. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Maritza Isabel. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nadia. Present teacher. Very good. En Miguel Ángel. Se nos durmió hoy. ¿Qué pasó? Noemi Alicia. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús. Teacher, disculpe, en el yeah. WhatsApp le están enviando que hay unos compañeros que lo está sacando. Ah, ok, teacher? ok. Thank you, thank you. ¿Qué, ¿A quién es? Pues, si me pueden ayudar ahí. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Nail, Night. Uh, Nal, uh. Present teacher, Sara ¿Sí? Nalda. Nalda. Nail. Yo siempre no le digo teacher, es, Nalda. La, es la compañera Regina que le está mandando la información. Ok, ahorita Regina, Regina. It is Regina. No, but it's Regina. I already call her. And Vidal? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm going to check on that for uh, in a moment. Thank you very much, Francisco, for being my eyes on the chat. Great job. It's because I some cases when I am on the on the class, I cannot be checking on the WhatsApp and then they say, teacher, le manda el mensaje. And it's like, yes, but I was I was working, but I tried to check, but that's good. Thank you for helping me. Okay, remember my dear students, important things before we move on. Important things, we have the class tomorrow, the normal time. Uh, it's the last Friday we're having, okay? Because the next Friday is normal off, okay? Uh, el día de mañana es nuestro último viernes para cubrir eh, los días anteriores. Y ya el próximo, la próxima semana es normal, de lunes a jueves. Uh, los últimos días, okay? So tomorrow we are going to be here. And another important thing, please, if you are missing to send the uh, comprobante del manual, do it, okay? Quien no lo ha enviado todavía, envíelo por favor, porque eh, ayer creo que era el último día. So please do it. Eh, de aquí, quien me falta de enviarlo? Quien no lo ha enviado todavía? Todos lo enviaron ya? Yes. 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 Yes, teacher. Okay. yes. yes. Okay. Teacher. In the recording, you can see that everybody said that they have finished. Okay. Aquí queda grabado que todos dijeron que ya lo habían enviado. So, if you haven't done it, do it right now because you said. Hasta ahora me contestaron porque hasta ahora me lo vieron. Okay. So, but the idea is that you send it. Okay. La idea es que sí lo manden y lo tengan. Okay. So that was the announcements for uh, for the night. That was the commercial of the night. Tell me, I have three questions for discussion and we're going to have this in a couple of minutes of the, the ones that we're missing in the class. I have three questions. 
what if? What do you think that will happen? What will happen if people stop watching television? What will happen? ¿Qué pasaría? If people stop watching television. Todavía hay gente que ve televisión. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, they do. But what will happen? ¿Qué pasaría si la gente dejara de ver tele? Uh -huh. I am free. I am free. <laughs> what will happen? What will happen if people stop watching television? They can learn another thing. We do, like uh, English. We, we <laughs> said, we they say the energy. <laughs> okay. The they do in child. <laughs> More people in the world. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> they can do exercise. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. If people stop watching television, they might do exercise. They might have they more might. kids. <laughs> they might um, have more free time <laughs> to do kids. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's why people in the past used to have a lot yes. of children. My goodness. If people work only three days a week, what will happen? Si solo trabajáramos tres días a la semana. They might to be happy. I might be very happy, right? We I might be very We are net less money. Ajá, uh -huh. we, we might make less money. Hmm. That's not good. Hmm. I don't like that one. For the same salary, maybe, right? Three days a week. If people um, aren't allowed to drive cars in the city, what will happen? What will happen if people were not allowed to use cars in the city? They might use what? Bicycles. They might use bicycles. Very good. They might use bicycles. And the people were pollution. Okay. They the global warming. Warmer. The global warming could decrease. The global the global warming could decrease. Good. People could exercise more because they will do they will use the bikes or walk or I don't know, use the bus or something like that. So I think it would be a good idea, right? To stop watching TV and also to not to drive cars in the city. And now with all the fines and the money people will save a couple of dollars if they don't use the car. And let me see. This is the last exercise that I have for the night. Tell me something that you are good at and something that you are not good at. For example, I am good at teaching, but I am not good at riding bicycles. I can't. What about you? I am good at, but I am not good at what? I am good at um, uh, review, review five, uh -huh. uh, but I am bad at uh, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are bad at dancing. Who is also bad at dancing? Okay, I will see all the cameras. Who is also I bad, am teacher. bad at dancing? Okay, Erivin, not good for dancing. Who I'm, is, good, I'm, good, I'm good at listening. I'm <laughs> good at dancing. <laughs> okay. But I'm not good cooking. I am good at dancing. <laughs> I am good at dancing, but not good at I cooking. Not, I'm not good at football. I am not I, good at soccer, you say. I am not good at soccer. Um, Teacher, I I'm good, good at listening English, but I'm not good at writing English. Okay. Because I used to forget some some letters. <laughs> some word. Okay, you you eat letters and you eat words. Ah, you have to you um, have to practice more. You have to practice more and read. You have to I read. Am, I am. Good there at are some at words that I know. That I know how to how to say it and I understand the meaning, but I don't know how to read them. <laughs> so you see, that's that's kind of a problem, right? No, no, how to write them. How to Sorry, write how them, to write right? Them. How uh -huh. to write them. Let me see. Someone was um, telling me something. Uh -huh. 
Katia? I am a good at sleeping, but I'm not good at cooking. <laughs> I am good at sleeping. Me too. I think everybody is good at sleeping. Me salen unas dormidas tan bonitas. <laughs> like for eight hours. Okay. I, I, like, I like to cook. You, you like to cook, yeah, right? Yeah. For I sure, <laughs> you are the chef. You have to love cooking, right? <laughs> good. Who is good? Good, good teacher. To English teacher, but not. I'm sorry, not. I come on. In English. And you yes. are answering in English. That's the curious thing, right? Yes, I understand. With do you say? But for answer in me, I don't know. It's nervous. <laughs> you don't have to feel nervous, people. You have to practice more. You see, tomorrow we are going to work a little bit on the next unit. So we are going to check on unit 13. A terrible book, a terrific book, but a terrible movie. Okay, so we are going to be practicing a little bit about participles as adjectives. So please, if you can check out the next unit for tomorrow, that will be perfect. Right now, we are going to stop here. And remember, we are going to meet tomorrow at the same time. Have a wonderful night, sleep well, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. I hope you feel better tomorrow. Okay, Noemi, go to sleep. Also, Daisy, go to sleep for you to feel better, okay? <laughs> See you tomorrow, my dear class. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Have a good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Francisco. Bye, bye. <laughs>